This is Jack with your internet connection. Today I'd like to discuss Davy Crockett. He lived from the 17th of August, 1786 until the 6th of March, 1836, where he died famously at the Alamo. Davy Crockett is one of America's first folk heroes, best known for his death at the Battle of the Alamo in 1836. I just said that twice. Davy was also a writer, hunter, and U.S. congressman. As a man, Davy lived as an adventurer and frontiersman. He was born in what is now known as Eastern Tennessee, but at that time it was referred to as Franklin, a separate state. Davy left school at the age of 13 after only four days in a run-in with a bully who had beaten him up. Davy surprised the bully after class one day and gave him a severe beating in retaliation. He never returned to school again, but when his father confronted him and tried to discipline him, Davy took off into the woods and struck out on his own. This would have been in 1799. He took up with some cattle drivers and found jobs working as a teamster, a farmhand, a hat maker's apprentice, whatever else he needed to do to get by. He came back in 1802 and the family he had left seemed distant and alien to him. He'd grown much as an independent young man. He was no longer theirs. He had become his own. Almost 10 years later, at the age of 27, Davy joined the state militia of Tennessee in the War of 1812 to fight against the Red Stick Indians. These were Creek Indians who had attacked American settlers at Fort Mims, Alabama. Davy functioned as a scout and wild game hunter in the militia. He was also present when Commander Andrew Jackson of Tennessee's militia led his volunteers into a battle that led to 200 Red Sticks dead. The Red Sticks had killed over 500 earlier in an attack on Fort Mims as they were well armed by the British. Now a veteran and renowned frontiersman, Davy served in the Tennessee legislature in 1826, which led him to later being elected to three non-consecutive terms in the House of Representatives. He was popular among the people with his folksy persona and frontiersman grit. Crockett spoke out on behalf of the poor and clashed with President Andrew Jackson's Indian Removal Act. This would eventually play a key role in his electoral defeat in 1835, as the act was popular in securing the wild nation. By this time, Crockett had grown weary of politics anyway. He rarely showed up. During his entire tenure, he in fact failed to pass a single bill. During his career, Davy had many jobs, including farming and manufacturing wood barrels and gunpowder. He had profound skill as a bear hunter, he spent much of his life stalking black bears in the woods of Tennessee, selling pelts, meat, and oil to make his living. He claims to have killed 105 black bears during a seven-month period between 1825 and 1826. One of the legends that he told about himself was that he once killed a bear in pitch black by stabbing it in the heart with a butcher knife. He was often written about in newspapers and celebrated in popular fiction of the day. Crockett was popularized in the 1831 play, The Lion of the West. Although it did not refer to him directly, the hero certainly portrayed him and also had the unfortunate name of Nimrod Wildfire. This drove Davy Crockett's persona to national fame and grew his legendary status. One book written about him was Sketches and Eccentricities, easy for me to say, Eccentricities of Colonel Davy Crockett. It was very successful. This inspired him to write his own autobiography. In 1834, he published an autobiography titled A Narrative of the Life of Davy Crockett of the State of Tennessee. It was reprinted many times and was very successful. It is currently available for purchase on Amazon.com and has four and a half stars. 
Davy Crockett famously came to the aid of President Andrew Jackson during an assassination attempt by the crazed gunman named Richard Lawrence. The gunman fired twice with two different pistols, both of which miraculously misfired. President Jackson beat the gunman with his cane. Crockett was one of several bystanders who wrestled the man to the ground and disarmed him. At the Battle of the Alamo, which was a pivotal event in the Texas Revolution, following a 13-day siege by Mexican troops in large numbers, a massive assault was launched at the Mission Alamo near San Antonio, killing all of the Texan defenders. Crockett died fighting there on the morning of March 6, 1836, at the age of 49. It is believed he is one of the surviving six or seven people who were there, and accounts are inconclusive. Some had said that uh, he was offered to leave by the Mexican army that had captured them, or forced to uh, recant that his patriotism were killed anyway. Uh, details are inconclusive, and there's much more about this man's life. I wanted to share with you the details that I could come up with in this short biopic, and I hope that you've enjoyed listening. Thank you.